Welcome, good morning, everyone. How's it going? Welcome back to more Animal Crossing. Good morning. Time for more aerobics. We'll be me the wishing well. So obviously, it's not really 6:03 a.m. In fact, it is currently 3:03 p.m. Um, but uh, here we are, anyways. Uh, yes, uh, we are gotten some of these. That is good. Uh, unfortunately, our inventory is full, so we're not going to be able to uh, do much here. I've oh, jeez. Oh, it's like what? How are you already hearing that already? I didn't realize. The wishing hole is still like physically close to my uh, acre. And oh, this music is so like crazy and assault. Wait, do you have any new villagers? We do not. Okay. Okay. We're getting villagers in a little slower than I figured we would have. Hello, Midge. Nice to see you again. Please let me contract on the exercise Tweedledee. This is hard enough as it is. Well, screw you. Haha. <laughs> uh, can I right now? I'm contract Tweedledee. So that would, you know. <laughs> My inventory is still full for the last episode, and I can't sell any of this since Tom Nooks isn't open yet. Uh, did you say the other thing yet? Please let me come to the next one. Hey, did you say the other thing? Did you only say the one thing? I'm sorry! Let me come to the next one. It's hard enough to say. Okay, I'll. Come on, tell me! There's another thing you say, I know. I wish I could put this net away, but I can't! She doesn't want to say the other thing! Alright, fine. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Listen to the music. Feel that bump, bit? Doesn't make you want to exercise all day long! Whoa! Where was your last time? You didn't say that. Interesting. I wonder if the position they are on the line up here change what they say. I love the morning aerobics. People to call me the aerobic sizer because I love it so much. That's funny. Uh, hello, Blue Bear. You think I want to make any mistakes or things for so long? How long have you been doing it? I guess maybe since July 25th, so a little bit. I feel like I get bored easily. I think I've had enough of this peach. <laughs> me too, Blue Bear. Me too. It's only the second time I do. What the point of the morning aerobics is? To get your blood circulating. Wow, oh, gosh, I'm with the truth bomb over here. Okay, say the other thing. If I'm caught up to everyone, phew, now don't distract me. Alright, fine. Hello, Torture. Hello there, Chris. Good to see you. Uh, show me your card. According to my account, you show up for uh, aerobics precisely two times, including today. Yep, so I'm curious. We're gonna probably do this one more time on screen, and we'll probably cut it shorter. So it's gonna wake up bright and early, Chris. Yeah, you tell me about Haha, I, I could never do this in my life. Uh, maybe if I like didn't have like a full-time job, it'd be easier for me to do. Um, so I could kind of you know go to sleep whenever I want and such. Although I say that when I was done with school and took like a year off, I um, d d really didn't uh, didn't really. I definitely was waking up at like 4 p.m. eventually. They're already sad because don't try to pull over these eyes. So yeah, you. It sound yeah, just by the way he said that kind of looks like he's probably gonna say the same thing every single time. The other bird gets the bells, but I can't buy you health. God damn. To exercise when your hands are full, people, come on now, is everyone ready? Keep breathing, deep breaths. We then work that sea stick, lift it up, slow like bottom to top. Huh. I really wish- Oh, I could drop this! Perfect. Okay, I didn't realize I had something I could drop there. Um, uh, Is that? Huh. What about like... I said somebody like left them up before. I was like trying to figure this out last time. Uh, I don't know. All right, <laughs> we're not gonna bother anymore. So we are gonna actually uh, play a bit more as well today. Uh, I'm gonna spend some time here hunting for the banded dragonfly. Last night um, when I recorded and went for the giant beetle, I couldn't find one. Um, so today <laughs> we're gonna put it to the real time. We're gonna go look for the bad dragonfly. So that's another thing that's super hard to find. We're gonna do that for like around an hour, and if I find it perfect, if not, it's absolutely fun as well. Let's go uh, send out some mail here, and then we'll grab the uh, mail from the. Um, Mailbox here too, so I will be right back after I send all the mail. Get out of there! Oh, is it closed? Oh, it's not closed. Okay. Actually, I guess while we're here, we might as well uh, deposit some money into our account here. Um, yeah, let's. Uh... Oh wait, <laughs> that's not how you do this. Uh, wow. Oh no, I've made a mistake. So this is the e-card reader thing, which you need a Game Boy Advance for, and also an additional thing that connects to the Game Boy Advance, I think. Phyllis is here. It's so weird seeing her at 6 a.m., man. It just it feels weird, man. We might as well put in 30,000 bells because we're about to get a bunch more money from Tom Nook from selling all those beetles to him. I don't know how much we're going to get, but we should get a fair amount. So uh, we may as well put that in. It's all so nice seeing all these even amount of numbers. All right. Uh, I'll meet you guys once I get, uh, once we change it back to the real time, which is now 3.10 p.m. Hey, we're back to the real time, I think, right? Yes, 311. Okay, it's uh, um, 
It's a bit more difficult because I'm dumb and I don't, uh, I gotta think about military time. I didn't feel like thinking. I'm sorry, okay? Uh, I got some stuff in the museum here. Uh, nothing new there. So yeah, as I said, did someone move in now? Oh no, 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 no. I thought someone moved in here, but no, no. Both those people are already there. Uh, oh no, the cherry tree died. Oh well, it wasn't the only one. I mean, it was a dead giveaway. The fact there's no grass around there. Duh, you idiot. Um, there's never ending fount of energy, aren't you, Macho? So then, Macho, why are you here? I guess Crazy Red's bringing his business here again. Listen, you gotta trust anything Red tells you, okay? Trust your instincts, don't pull the wool of your eyes. Yeah, so after today, there'll probably be less- There he is right there! Oh my god, I didn't expect to see him! Jeez! That was a perfect spot. I didn't expect to see him so quickly. The power for hunger since I saw you last, Moodoo. So, we, oh my God, that scared me. Ah, oh, that was him. I could have grabbed him. Well, the forecast is right, Moodoo. What a nice day. I wonder how do they know? I bet just lucky. Yes, you think that's all it is? No, no. Why am I so angry? Maybe. No, so it's all just a guess. I don't know. I always saw it's more, more, a bit more complex than that. I feel like I had all these neat sciencey things that make cool noise. I mm. Oh well. <laughs> oh, stay you belly go you. Oh, hello again. If it's an encore of Chris, how soon for Wait, did I, I didn't talk to you yet. What? Why hello? I guess hello is not talking to me. Have I told you anything about moving soon? Yeah, I'm totally serious. Don't get me wrong, I may like this village, but we've got the wandering bug big time, you know? I'll miss my new friends and new bum. That's just life, right? Um, I'm pretty sure when they say that, they don't actually mean that. I'm pretty sure it's just another one of those random things they'll occasionally say to you. And I say that because, uh, um,. This game works a bit different with moving. It's actually it glitches out once you hit 15 villagers. It's really weird. Uh, whenever you hit 15 villagers, just whoever's the latest one that moved in will, will eventually like, move out, and then they'll do. At least that was with my old file. I don't know if it's still true with that. I'm it's super excited to see how much money we're about to get from this. Let's see. Oh boy! 24,000 bells. Holy crap! Yes, please. Yes, please. Holy crap, that's awesome. Uh, we might as well buy some, uh, ooh, a globe. I actually like that. I'm gonna buy that. As usual, I'll buy the flowers. It's so weird buying flowers every day. I definitely, uh, uh didn't do that uh, before. And, uh, I mean, we have the money, so why not, right? Let's start buying, uh, let's start racking up some of these tickets, shall we? Um, I don't really care for, uh, what's 31st? Indeed, my friend, indeed. We'll buy the shovel. I don't think we will get a uh, raffle ticket for that, but... Yeah, if he doesn't give it to me. Which is actually good. Uh, the reason why we're buying that is because we need a secondary shovel to um, get a... Uh, <clears throat> well, a golden tree for one, but also a golden shovel. So maybe I'll make like a golden... Um, maybe we'll make like a golden... Uh, uh, tree farm or something. That'd be kind of cool, right? Not that that would do much anything at all, but... What color are the... Uh, they're blue still. They change color. Weren't, weren't they blue last... Uh, for July as well? Uh, I don't really care for that either, but we'll buy for the uh, tickets. All right, I'm gonna uh, meet you guys once I'm done buying everything in here, so I'll be back. All right, with that, we're now gonna sell a bunch of uh, this stuff back to him because I don't really care for it. I want the globe though. Um, uh, yeah, okay, only four things. All right. And the reason why we're doing this uh, once again is because I get the raffle tickets. At the end of the month, we uh, get the chance to win cool stuff. The things uh, most excitingly is um, you can win NES games. I'd love to get more. Uh, my hands have more of those. So we're gonna try our gosh dangerous to uh, get more of those. Um, I guess we could just plant more here. We could just kind of make our way through the acres here, you know? Planting flea withers and stuff. Good. Well, maybe I should, uh, I'm a little bit worried about um, planting too many flowers as I've already run over a bunch and murdered them all because I'm an idiot. Uh, there's more stuff in here to sell, so let's go see. <laughs> Let's see what we have in here, hopefully. All right, so I'll, uh, I'll meet you guys once I have all the stuff I'm gonna be selling to Tom Nook, cause I have a hell of a lot. Um, so be right back. All right, we're returning. We, I probably should've just grabbed, there's a bunch of bugs still left in my house. Um, I should've really just grabbed everything to be, or grabbed all the bugs for something, so we have to make another round. So this might not be an impressive. 14,000, that's still pretty good, man. Um, it's such a shame that you can only make this kind of money in June, July, or sorry, July, August, when all the beetles are out. Because after this, all the beetles disappear for the rest of the year. And really, I kind of feel like beetles is the only fantastic way of making money in this game. So it's really a shame, but uh, I mean, that's, just, that's life, I guess. All right, here's the remaining things. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you guys what it was. Maybe, well, I don't know. Who knows? Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I think there's a shovel in here, right? Yeah, we'll leave it on there. Let's see what we got from this. Uh, 
A Trillo Bite? I don't think we have that. I should have really opened up my, uh, my Word document before starting to look at this. Uh, Trillo Bite. Uh, I do not have that. The Falsy recently sent to us as a Trillo Bite, an ancient life form. We were ready to turn this fine sense on you and eagerly wait for you to Wow, you know when they get cool facts. I saw no cool fact there, sir. Um, and then, uh, well, I guess we yeah, uh, This is a Patosaurus Torso. Uh, we actually already have that, so... Um, no need to read that. Patator yeah, we're just looking for the tail of that dude. Oops. And then finally, the ocean jelly- uh, False side does a neck of an ocean jelly plesiosaur. Uh, yeah, we need the neck of that! Perfect, I don't think we have anything of that so far. Um, Terror of the Deep, we return this fine specimen to you. Oh my, thank you, thank you! Uh, can't get rid of them here. Oh, please don't walk outside, sir, thank you. And we'll break 40,000 bells with this, so... <laughs> We just had a crap ton of money, and um, we're about to get some more. Uh, so not the Trillo Bite. What, what is it again? Not the Trillo Bite. The Apato Torso, right? Yes, we just need the tail of that. Okay, it's always scary to sell these. He's like, what if I don't actually have it? Fossils are obviously a pretty nice way to get money in this game as well, but obviously, let's you only do a max of three of those a day, and obviously, well, obviously, the farther you get to the game, the more you're going to have to sell, since the more duplicates you'll get. Um, I also heard a thing that... Oh, do we have a Longhorn Beetle? I think so. Let's take a look. I got a Longhorn Beetle. I didn't even need a lasso. Did I really just say that? Do we have this? Uh, probably. I'm sorry about my mic. Well, we do already have that. Okay, so we're, we're fine. We do cheap that. Um, nah, I'm sad that cherry tree died. I mean, you already have a cherry tree, so it's not the biggest deal. But yeah, apparently if you walk, the band dragon fly actually matches your speed. Which is really good to know, because um, if that... Oh, he was right. That seems true, though. He uh, was definitely not very fast there. Um, so apparently the best way to catch those guys is to walk into the acre where you see it run out of because they won't change their speed until... Or once they spawn, they don't change your speed. So let's uh, give this Plesiosaur a uh, neck to him. Although he's going to say that he's not going to be complete. So he might as well just cut until they uh, don't get to him, shall we? Hey, here's the other thing, the Trillobite. So let's, uh, he'll say something unique for that, mm -hmm. since it's a unique item. Hey, what do we have here? A Trillobite, not totally big, Mr. Leglin. Yes, yes, very nice indeed. This is quite a beautiful specimen as well. Quite. To be here to be congratulated. Well then, where to begin, Trillobites? Ah, yes. Trillobites were hard-shelled, segmented arthropods which seem popular the Paleozoic seas long before dinosaurs existed. There were over 50,000 known species of Trillobites, and more are discovered each year. Whoa, whoa, that's great. I wonder how many there are now. That makes them the single most diverse group of extinct organisms ever. Amazing. Truly remarkable, you know. How many variants of Trillobites? Let's see. This game came out in 2001. They are however extinct. No living descendants whatsoever. The, the constant perils of nature are quite formidable. It's crazy that so many, um, you know, 15,000 different versions. Let's see. Well, let's say... Hey, my, so sorry, I've been, let me debate your pawn. I've been running off with that bee again. I tend to do that. And that's all he has to say. Dude, I'm still blown away that we just, we've seen two bad dragonflies since we started this game already. Uh, maybe this won't be as hard to catch as I think. Oh, I should not have said I'm an idiot. So there's the uh, Plexus Sword Neck. <laughs> Very kind of boring fossils to look at. And here's a Trillabite. Um, yeah, the museum slowly but surely filling on out. Filling on out of there. Oh, we gotta go to the dump as well and see. Uh, what's there. But okay, anyways, I'll cut till I either talk to a villager, find the money rock, go to the dump, find a bad drink, find one of those things. I just saw a drink if I freaked out. <laughs> that is not what we're looking for. <laughs> uh, let's see what. Uh, let's see what's here. That's oh, a grasshopper. Tea set. Ooh. A thick paper. I don't do we looking for any, any grasshopper? We're looking for a mantis. That's not a mantis though. I don't think so. I, I mean a card be our gosh. Um tea set? Yeah, we can take a look what that is later. Hello, peaches? Good morning! Oh whoops, I guess it's kinda of like to be said that, isn't it? You know, it's times like these I really think the whole greeting thing is a difficult, neighbor. <laughs> they must have had some reason to come to me, right, neighbor? It doesn't matter what season it is, sunny days always feel warm. Don't you agree? No, I wish. Hey, I'm I'm pudgy warm. Sunny days are the best, neighbor. I really wish that were true. Unfortunately, uh, if you live in a winter wonderland like Canada, you'll quickly discover that that is not true, unfortunately. Well, two for one deal here. We got money bags! Money, money, money! And a fossil, because uh, it's having rain yesterday, so it definitely could be nothing but a fossil. Woo! That's something we don't have yet. I don't know if we're able to catch them from there, though. Did he spawn? That's a pond skater. I don't think we have one of those yet. 
We do not. They're available till September though, and they're actually pretty common. So as we, that's, oh, why he's right there? Will he come towards me? Oh yeah. What? Oh, okay. Come back, a little buddy. A little buddy. I actually saw some of these for the first time in my life the other day. Like in real life. It, well, not the other. It was the one I went to be, which is a little while ago. Right? Yeah, I'm not. Oh, come on, dude. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I don't. I think they despawn when they go to the. Wow, did you see his child glitched on top of the deck there? I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. ah. Ah. Oh, I got him! Look at that! Uh, I caught something. I caught pot scanner. It was through a triple toe axle. Perfect. So we did get something new to give the museum. Um, not the bug we're really looking for, but hey, I'll tell you what I could get, right? Uh, dang, we got a pond skater. That's awesome. Um, I don't know. Oh, dang, I saw the yellow and it scared me because I was looking away from my screen for a second. Uh, all right, onwards to finding the abandoned dragonfly again. Oh, here's Midge. Let's talk to Midge. Oh, if it isn't Chris again, how nice, Toodlebee. Someone's had some reason to come see me, right, Toodlebee? Hell oh, yeah, let's show you your dress and your pond skater. Nope. Doesn't want a pond skater. No. Well, yeah, why would you? I mean, see what outfit I was gonna give you. Hey, you said something about a dress. I want a dress. It's my fault. I should have told you before. I well, oh, Aw, she's so sad. <laughs> why? Why could have been literally anything else I had? Like yeah, even the tea set. Like all right, sure, fine. Oh well. Oh well, Midge. It's always so weird to me when things can uh, just naturally be buried on the uh, shore. Like, there's another one. Like this is actually in the water somewhere around the shore. I don't remember exactly where it is though. Hey, hey Frigga. Chris, really, you talk too much, you know. If I want to chat, do you need something from me? Try lucky bank game. This is always a fabulous fun. Now choose. Now pay close attention. I have three banks here. The banks contain either a spade shirt, a cherry, or why is everyone getting cherries for? I'll tell you what's in which bank, of course. Which would you like care to pick for a uh, bank for 790 bells? Um, let's go left. Left, let's see what's inside. Cherry? Spade shirt, ass. I mean, I'd rather take that than these stupid. Uh, what you want? All of you to visit? Don't throw it away. The game probably think that's the loser prize, but <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as a win instead of um, I would rather have that than the pitfall. So I'm trying to say there's a thing that's buried in the water. It's so weird to me. It's so funny that spawns like we got two falls like that today, huh? Whoa! Whoa! No! 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 He was right there! Dang it! I was just thinking it's been a while since so I've seen one. Dang it, man! Ah, uh, well. Let's donate this, uh, this pond skater to Brothers and see what he says about that, shall we? Oh, damn me! Damn me! Should have skipped this part of the conversation. So, such a long way to conversation, dude. Have this here, have this here pond skater. Just tell me what you think about it. I oh, hear yes, you hear indeed yes. I was getting not utterly mistaken. No, no, it's unnecessary. Same thing I say literally every time a single ball graces my presence. Um, still saying things he says every time. <laughs> I've always been curious. Why is that these water striders choose to live their wives on the water? They're skating across water without sinking? Unnatural. Blah! A gross deck, a front to natural order. What, what? Hey, but I digress. Gross. I agree, they're kind of gross, but I saw them in real life. There, uh, there's a lot of them, man. And yeah, they move just like they do in the game. They go, push, push, push. And they kind of just go quick like that, you know? Uh, is that him? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Forever stuck in that tiny pod. It's a bit of a different uh, living quarters than he was at, wasn't it? Oh, that's a new bug as well. That's got a great purple emperor butterfly. Jeez, a mouthful. This butterfly is supposed to come on far off island. Ooh, I wonder where that could possibly be. That's new. Perfect. Not what we're looking for, but hey, we'll take it. Also, I never took pond skater off our list here, right? Yeah, purple butterfly. Um, so yeah, with that, we've actually completed our first row as well. So that's that's really that's pretty neat. First of many, I hope. Mm. All right, so let's give him the purple butterfly and see what he says about him. Who ah, who are you? Purple butterfly, not utterly mistaken. No, no, no. So I don't think we're gonna catch a band of butterfly. We're approaching the 20 minute mark here, and uh, it appears we're not gonna find it, unfortunately, which really sucks. But hey, it's the best I can do here. I would say I'm more uh, contemporary. Some uh, butterflies are beautiful, yet monster monstrous. Well, if you were to ask me, it's all the same. Which I mean, disgusting, truly horrific. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, he said that last time. He said that about all the butterflies. That's the last butterfly in the game. So, <laughs> that's uh, sad a little bit. Uh, but hey, six parts in, we're already looking at towards the end of the game, you guys. Uh, that's not really true. There he is, Luigi. We already saw the pond skater. So, there we go. Another one bites the dust. 
Right, off to find the bad dragonfly away! <laughs> Holy crap! Blue Bear wants to buy my tea set from me for 2,380 bells. Really sure? Jeez, that's a, a, okay. Uh, I know it's pretty rare. I don't want you to regret your decision later. Uh, I don't need it. Is that really? Is that really rare? I can't imagine it's that rare, right? <laughs> Hopefully we reorder that. If we need it, I probably yeah, whatever. I probably don't care. It's fine. Enjoy it, Blue Bear. Enjoy it. There. Oh my God. This thing's actually really important. I was just thinking about this guy. This is a jewel beetle. Why not jewel beetle? It's gorgeous. I wonder how much I can get for it. These things actually a little bit more scary than the bad dragonfly. A little bit, just mostly because I haven't been paying attention to them. These mm. things um, are only available from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and it's currently 3. Mm. It's not gonna say it's 3:46 p.m. So this thing's about to disappear. And the daytime bugs are much more scary to me just because like I'm, the only time I have a chance to catch those are on Saturdays and Sundays when I'm mm. off work. So it's very very limited how uh, frequently I can catch those. So jewel beetle is done. Cross on my list. Uh, who yes, indeed, that's a jewel beetle. I'm not mistaken. Um, those things aren't worth quite a bit. I think they're worth like three thousand bells a pop. So that's that's fan fan fantastic. So the giant beetle is the only thing I'm a little bit scared to get still. Um, besides that, just the bad dragonfly is really the only bug I'm uh, horrified of trying to find. The incredible jewel like ir iridescence is so, it's so so very just so very nauseating. Yes, that's it. Hey, bad dragons. Haha, <laughs> I see what they did there. They made it look like they say it was pretty, and then they said it was ugly instead. What an ugly buggo. <laughs> and um yeah let's uh see where he's at oh, i thought he'd be in that tree actually uh huh? oh there he is i was like where the heck is he look at him hump that tree i think i just actually saw one of those earlier and i scared uh, i scared him away. I was like no might be molly instant see him but we i know we're over the 20 minute mark here most likely so i guess the bad dragonfly is not gonna happen today we'll try again next week and i'm sure we'll probably get two more parts out of this doing that okay unless we come across finding him on our way back um it's possible i haven't seen one in a bit i haven't seen one in a bit so we'll see one right now no siree all right good I've been, I've been walking to the acre since I think it's determined by what happens if you walk into the acre. We can solve some of this stuff because who knows what time we'll be playing next. Um, next time we'll probably do a part of this where well, I'll record is on the eighth when um, red or the media shower or whatever. I don't remember which one. I think it's I think it's red that comes first. We can sell these. I think we actually got a pretty penny for at least the pro butterfly. Took that. That's it. Oh man, that's not much at all actually. Um, I would really like to. Uh, not pay off my house until I was on stream again. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all this money. I don't want to carry it around with me. I guess I could. Ah! Oh! Thought that was it. Chris says, let's look around for a few more seconds here. It's, it's, it's gotta be around. It's gotta be around. Never give up, etc. Yeah, I've been like running. I think that determines the speed based on what you enter the end of the acre. Well, that's what makes most sense to me. Not that I know a dang thing about programming, so maybe it doesn't. Um, but to me, I know bugs spawn when you walk into the acre, right? So to me, it makes sense that the speed that goes out would be determined by how fast you're going when you enter the acre. All right, just kind of going a roundabout way back to my house that I already saw. It's a last ditch effort to find this stupid thing. Yeah, it doesn't look like it wants to come out to play today. That's okay. We have more chances to go, and it's not that crazy rare. We saw what three today? Dang, I thought the tree was wait. <laughs> Don't know why. Um, all right, this is the last. This is the last uh, lap here. And the last one's here. It is not. Oh well, we'll have plenty more tries. Um, so we got five August tickets. That's good. Uh, let's go to our house real quick here. I put the globe down, just kind of off screen. I guess we can turn that. Um, I don't really know what to do with it though. There's a bunch of fossils in here. I guess we can put the pitfall in there for now. We'll probably do some of that eventually. I don't know. I mean, obviously, the only thing to really do is uh, either trap your friends or uh, trap your um, animals. So we'll probably do some of that. I guess we can take these out. Um, uh, remove. Remove. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, more fossils to send out. Uh, what I used to do is I used to make a point when I used to play this game to find all five fossils every single day, but you really don't gotta do that. I mean, it's good to like stock up, obviously, but don't have so many you're overflowing, right? You may as well just, uh, you know, make sure you have three to send every day. Um, 
Anyways, thanks for watching. If you like the stream, please. <laughs> video, please do. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully, we'll find a bad dragonfly. But even so, we found three new bugs today, so that's pretty good. Um, I will see you guys uh, probably in the eighth. Is the next time I'll um, record this, so you guys will probably see the video on the ninth. Bye.